Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Calpurnia breakup. So, as y'all saw in my last video, it was like 25 seconds long and I said that Calpurnia broke up and that I wasn't okay with it. And that video has like what 1.1k right now like views. I just find that like crazy. I'm very thankful for everyone who watched it and everyone who liked it and everyone who commented on it. I'm just very thankful for all of that. So thank you if you're watching and you watched that and you liked it and you commented and you just felt something. Thank you so much. But anyways, today I'm going to be going more in depth with the whole breakup situation and saying my feelings and just kind of like... I guess saying stuff about it because that was only a 25 seconds video and I was just like ah, I'm not okay but I planned on making another video actually explaining and like trying to figure out and like just thinking about why they broke up and telling y'all my feelings and stuff so yeah let's get into it so as y'all know if y'all watched my last video California broke up. They announced on Instagram two days ago that they split and that they were very happy for everything that has came from it, but they just split because they're just going their separate ways, pretty much. But what does that actually mean? I mean, we all know that Finn Wolfhard is the main singer of the band and he's doing a lot right now. With Stranger Things, with It Chapter 2 just coming out, with his new movie The Turning coming out, and with Adam's Family just coming out, a lot of stuff is happening and maybe he just couldn't find time for Calpurnia. This is not to say that I'm mad at Finn or that this is Finn's fault. Because for all we know, one of the other people could have been too busy. Or maybe, like, they all just felt it was better if they broke up. Maybe they weren't getting along. We don't know as just fans from the sidelines. We really don't. So we can just speculate. And I think a lot of people are going to immediately think, oh, it's because Finn, Finn is so busy and stuff. And... That could be the case, but I don't think that, like, if that was the case, that he just wanted to leave. I feel like if that, if he was too busy, then that was just his life. I don't think he was just, like, blowing them off or something. I just think that it just came to the point where he was doing movies and all this stuff and, like, music was just another thing to add on to it and like once you sign up for like to do a movie and tv show I don't think you can really just drop it so maybe that's one of the things he could drop so he dropped it that's what I'm thinking at least I mean I could be wrong though but like I said Ayla and Jack and Malcolm all do their own thing too <clears throat> excuse me so maybe they had stuff going on too and it just wasn't meshing like maybe their schedules were just very conflicting because Finn's not the only person in that band that does acting and that does music and stuff like that he might be the most well-known person in the band but that does, that does not mean that he's the only person that does stuff in that band like they all have their own little some of them do acting, some of them do music on their own, like, Ayla, she does music, she's been doing music for a long time, so maybe she felt it was better that she went solo, or maybe she felt that they weren't working enough because they all had conflicting schedules, so maybe she can do, like, it by herself more independently, if you know what, like, if you know what I mean my feelings about California breaking up so as y'all saw if you saw my <clears throat> if you saw my last video 
excuse my voice, I don't know what's happening. Um, I'm not okay with California breaking up. I mean, yes, I have to learn to deal with it. I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna learn to deal with it. Like, I'm trying to get over it, but I'm still kind of in that denial stage. Like, I'm kind of upset, I'm kind of mad, like, all in between. I'm just like, mm, you know, but... Like, I'm kind of upset because I never got to see one of their concerts. Like, some of the people in my last video commented, they're like, I'll never get to see them in concert. I'll, like, I never really got to meet them or anything. And yeah, I can relate to that because I never went and saw them in concert. They never came to my city, town, state, whatever. They never came. They came close to me, but they never came. So I didn't really get to go see them either, which sucks. But I mean, maybe one day they'll do another show or something. Like, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get to see them. Maybe one day I'll get to meet Finn and Ayla and all of them, you know? Because I really, I'm just, I want to be in denial about it, but I know it's happening. And there's really nothing I can do besides take it. You know, but as I'm saying that I'm really upset about Calpurnia breaking up and how, you know, they only got one EP and stuff. At the same time, maybe this is for the better, not for the worse. You know, they, as I was saying, they all have their other stuff going on. So maybe this is better for them. Maybe it's not the best for us fans. Sitting here has we've been waiting for music to come out for so long like their last song came out like feels like forever ago you know and maybe this is best like because they could have just kept being a band and not have released any music then people would have been mad because they're not releasing music and they're not going on tour and stuff so maybe it was better that they just told us that they broke up because, like, I feel like I would be more mad if they stayed a band and they didn't release music, they weren't going on tour anymore, and they basically were just a band, like an inactive band. So I feel like it was better that they said they broke up because they're not making any music anymore than just leaving us on, you know? If you know what I mean, kind of. But, this could be for the better for them. I mean, if they are excelling in what they want to do, I'm happy for them. I, I just, you know, as a fan, I wish that they were still together. I wish they made music. I wish they went on more tours and stuff like that. But, I can't control their lives. And maybe they're making way more money doing their acting or doing music on their own or doing all that stuff. And they're way happier doing that stuff than they were being a band. And I really hope they didn't end on bad terms. I don't know how they ended. You know, I'm just like y'all. I'm kind of in the background just watching, being upset. But... You know, it is what it is, and we don't have to be okay with it, but I guess we can accept it. And I like, in my last video, I was reading the comments because I liked and hearted every comment because I would read every comment, and I just found it so, like, more more relatable that people were feeling the same way as me because like I felt because like I have a friend who likes Calpurnia hi Karma but yeah like I have a friend who likes Calpurnia but like none of my other friends like Calpurnia and I kind of just felt like maybe I was overreacting or maybe I was just upset and like no one could relate with me you know but reading y'all's comments saying, I'm so sad, like, I've been crying and stuff like that, like, that really helped. Because, 
you know, like, I had people to relate to, you know, and most people were really nice on there, like, sharing their feelings and stuff. Some people said they were, it was their birthday and stuff, which I feel really bad about. Honestly, like, happy birthday. I'm sorry they broke up on your birthday. I hope you had a great birthday, though. But still, yeah. So, it's very nice that we have a community. Us Calpurnia fans have a community that support each other and feel the same way and make us feel more included in what we're doing because I bet a lot of people felt like oh like I like Calpurnia I'm upset about it but like no one else is upset about it so I need to stop being upset about it but like no we have a community us Calpurnia fans have a community and I that's what I love about our fandom so yeah that was my video Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below your feelings about the California breakup. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Do you not care? I mean, that's okay if you don't care. Everyone has their own opinion. And this video was my opinions on it. My opinions on everything. And kind of just giving you some ideas of why they broke up. But yeah. I I just want to say a big thank you again for all the people who watched my last video. Getting it to 1.1k views, like, that's crazy. Like, I just, I cannot even fathom it. Like, I've been, the last two days have been just uh, me coasting by, just trying to understand how many, like, how so many people can watch a video and be so supportive about it, you know? So thank you so much for watching my last video and thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope y'all have a great day.